What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be talking about 10 of the most popular glitches slash exploits in Breath of the Wild post patch 1.1.2. Now some of these are going to be completely useless, they're just fun little things to discover. Some of them are extremely helpful. And not so much exploits but more methods. We're going to be exploring all 10 of them today. The first one we're going to talk about is making a guardian disappear. Just sink, go to the underworld, hell, wherever he's going. So here I am at Hyrule Town, I try to make a guardian freeze with stasis and then he pops up and initiates a battle. So I'm thinking it's not gonna work, but then after I do my third shield deflect, I notice that he just disappears. Now when I slow down the footage, so third shield deflect, and then he falls into the ground at this point in time and disappears from battle. That's it, gone, bye. Which then he still continues to have the music as if he is dying and just exploding into parts like always. I tried out on a second guardian in the distance using stasis, boop, and when he unfreezes, boom, disappears into the world, no problem, still works. Number two is going to be a fun little clip of water that doesn't have any water, and it's right here next to Lake Floria, you can still jump in the water and stand there, still works. Number two, still good. And number three, at the Miro Shaz Shrine, which is the tempered power, it's going to open up this little pathway, and if you fall at the exact part right here, boop, you can clip into the wall and fall forever. And yes, I can confirm that that glitch is still a glitch. Number three, still works. Number four is going to be the run whistle. And if you're not familiar with this, this is when you press down to call your horse while you're running. And then you keep down, held down, and then you just keep spamming the run button. And uh, your stamina wheel never appears and you just get to run forever. So yes, that one still works. Number five, which is a fun little one, and uh, kind of took a long time for me to figure out how to actually do it, which is the new sailing method. For the new sailing method, you have to get a metal object and use magnesis to push a raft. Uh, I tried it a whole bunch of times. Took me about 20 minutes to actually get it up and running, but then once you get it up and running, boom, you are flying. Number five, still works. Number six, and probably one of the most helpful, is snowling, snow bowling. So here I am back at the cabin, talking to the old man, get this snowling going on. What's up, Pondo? At Pondo's Lodge, we usually just drop this snowball right here, and we're almost guaranteed a strike. Now, the first thing I noticed is it veered a lot to the right. And I thought to myself, you know what, Austin? It's been a minute since you did some snowling. Maybe you need to come out of retirement. You need to work on life a little bit. All right, great. So and then I did it a whole bunch of times. Right here, you're going to see in the exact spot that we used to always get a strike, I'm going to show four split screens. Of these four, right here, only one of them got a strike. The rest of them, no. In fact, the rest of them were nowhere near close. Just nothing. So apparently now, it takes luck and uh, getting this exact spot right there. Boom. Great. Maximum fairies that you can hold. So this one I covered, and this is basically taking fairies out of your inventory so that only two fairies are in your inventory, and then those five fairies you're holding, you just put them back in your inventory. We're going to make our way to a great fairy fountain, and once here, I'm going to first drop a fairy because I have too many. Bye-bye, fairy. And then we're going to hold our five fairies. Now, I was surprised on how fast this worked. The second you leave, the tenth of a second, boom, that fairy appeared. It used to be like, maybe like a two second delay. So if anything, the patch made this one more effective. So number seven, fairy farming still works. Number eight, time for dragon farming. So I made my way to my favorite lake to go talk to my thunder buddy. That's that's what I named the, uh, the electric dragon. He's my thunder buddy. That's also what I named Zapdos and Raikou and Raichu. <laughs> so here we are, we're gonna wait till 9 p.m. like always. And, uh, he's, he's not here. Maybe he didn't get the invite, or something happened. So then I was like, you know what, let's wait till morning. Still nothing. Alright, let's wait till noon. Boom! There's my thunder buddy. Yeah! So, uh, apparently, they just changed the time that he spawns from night to noon. But, still totally works. Uh, in fact, it's a little bit easier, because now you can see his shadow as long as there's sun out. And you're gonna see right here, boop, his 
Shard of his horn falls off. I get to go down here, collect Shard of his horn, do it again, and again, and again. Works great. Perfect. Number eight still works. Number nine that we're going to be talking about is uh, scanning amiibos that aren't officially released. Now, if anything, this one I thought would not have anything done to it because they just announced the three new amiibos. So, let's check it out. I scanned one of my amiibos that isn't released yet. It's a spoofed amiibo. And inside of my chest, yes, I can confirm that that is definitely a thing that you're supposed to get. And finally, number 10, and quite possibly one of the I think the most important ones is your star fragment hunting. So you're for a star fragment hunt, of course, make your way to the top of Dueling Peaks. Wait till day, wait till night, boom, star fragment fell. Let's teleport over, get our star fragment, no problem. What about star fragments during Lord of the Mountain? There's Lord of the Mountain, there's our star fragment, boom, let's go get it. All right, let's do another one. Now, Star Fragment fell, and this one is actually going to fall into a body of water. Make our map marker, walk on over. Now, I've experienced this, that if it fell into a puddle, it would disappear, not show up. Here it is, moving water. I tried to use Cryonis, didn't do anything, because it's just chilling at the bottom of the water. So I just walk over, boop, got it, no problem. Now, that confused me a lot, so I did one that it fell into Lake Hylia, and yeah, confirm that that doesn't make a difference. So. There you have it, number 10 still works, in fact, a little bit improved. Here's a bonus one, I already made a little video about this, just click the card up below about arrow farming after the new patch. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, 10 of the most popular slash useless slash helpful exploits in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and all of this is after patch 1.1.2. Was this helpful? Be sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below, until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.